this was the most enjoyable episode of Dragon Ball Super to date. I've watched it every episode and this by far is the most enjoyable episode to me, in my opinion. The reason why I enjoyed it so much, because this took me back to when there was some, I, I guess, danger. I know the danger has been removed because of Beerus and Whis and, and Vados, those guys being the strongest. But when Kaba got into Vegeta's ass like he did, pause, it, it felt... It felt like Dragon Ball again. It felt like this is what I want. That the animation was great. The art was great. The, the reactions was great. The fight was just, it looked beautiful. The, the most disappointing thing is that Kaba was a novice. He was a rookie. He did not even know how to go Super Saiyan, right? His base form is comparable to Vegeta. So that's impressive in itself. But he couldn't go Super Saiyan. So after you realize he couldn't go Super Saiyan, it's like, all right. Vegeta is about to whoop this nigga's ass. That's what Vegeta proceeded to do. But what was different, and what I liked the most was that Vegeta took on this, 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 this sensor, the sensor. He he became his sensei. He 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 was tutoring this guy, training this guy in the middle of a match. As a saying, your pride should not allow you to ask someone else for help in the middle of battle. So that's what Vegeta was most ticked off by. And as Piccolo mentioned, his pride is a saying. Vegeta felt like it was his duty to train Kaba. It's, 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 it's one of those things where I get it. And it and the whole episode, it had me on, on the edge of my seat. I couldn't wait to see what was going to happen. When Vegeta went Super Saiyan Blue, I was like, oh my god. Just seeing his stunned face, like, what is this? What did you just do? That was amazing. Best episode of Dragon Ball Super by far. I'm not sure if I'm going to review it going forward, but if it's episodes like this, I'm definitely going to be, you know, delving into it. We saw a preview for the next episode, Vegeta versus Hit, and Hit has been hyped up. Champa mentioned that, you know, I don't care what we're down, we have Hit, we, we're going to be okay. And this is interesting now, because in the previews, Vegeta was in Super Saiyan Blue, and Hit looked like he was having a fairly easy time with Vegeta, and his fighting style looked different. It looked like Vegeta was trying to do all his after images and all the other stuff. And Hit was not bothered by that. He looked like a pretty prototypical boxing technique. Like, he looked pretty straightforward. It's not like the typical martial arts. So that could be what's tr throwing Vegeta off. I, I really can't wait to see next episode. Let me know what you thought about it, because I absolutely enjoyed it. Um, I thought it was the best episode, hands down, of Dragon Ball Super. But let me know what you think. Like, if you did, subscribe to the channel. If you have not, that would be dope. Have a good day, people.